Good on YouTubers and thank you for tuning in to the days. Well, it's all of a very different video here on YouTube. And most importantly, with the cars on the background here, I probably some people are screaming on the background if I probably have to close the window for that purpose because hey, I've already had a bit of fresh air because I had a nice warm breakfast. But most importantly, guess what? Guess what I've been doing? I've been doing an animation, but the most important thing is I'm making a video on a Thursday. Now, why am I making this video here on a Thursday? Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong here. Because even though I'm about to repeat something rather, rather sinister, well, hey, guess what? The reason why I'm making a video on a Thursday is because now I feel like I am able to do so. And for me, that's actually one of the greatest things I really want to achieve on. Try and pretty much make more videos as much as I can. And, of course, yes, uh, I'm going to show you something. Uh, what's actually going to be coming up in about maybe a week's time, possibly a month's time, and possibly the first animated project for May of 2024. I mean, maybe it could be late April, but yes, I did send my dad, and also these sprites here. I'd like to say thank you so much to Ryan Village, or Raku Nexus, who has actually sent those sprites to me, of course. Somehow, I have to say that the creation of these sprites really means you well. And if you don't know where these sprites come from, they're actually from a Friday Night Funkin' type mod. Now, if you don't know what Friday Night Funkin' is, it's basically a game where I think it's probably similar to like Parappa the Rapper, I guess, for the PlayStation games, but this time it's more, mainly like a Newsground type game, I guess. I think it's a Newgrounds game. I think, that came out so far in 2020 during the pandemic. Oh my god, I hate those boards. I hate um, just pop-up boards. Okay, so, and as you can see, I'm not going to pretty much talk a whole bunch of garbage and hypocrisy going on here because I'm really sorry what I have to say here about how harsh I was saying back in March. But hey, um, on the flip side on this, Look how awesome this is. Now, basically, this is me, and this is Ryan. And I don't want to say the M word, because we don't want to talk about people who are relatively small, and then you can get into a heck of a fight. And, of course, yes, uh, the animation setting is pretty much a botch-up of the Rice Paddyfield animation that I've actually have made so far, eh? And amazingly, I've actually started this project in April, Guess what? In 2024. Amazingly, it has a lot of reused assets, but what I'm actually going to be adding is because it's pretty much based on a railway station, as you can see this, I've pretty much took inspiration from a... I think I used to have one of these old Thomas and Friends toys, which was like a Tommy Wellsworth station, I think it was, and that's why I took the inspiration on. Basically, drew the whole railway station all by myself, and there's the river all done by myself, done by hand. And as you can see, there's the trees in the background here. Nice composition skills, nice artwork and aesthetics, pleasing the people and stuff. There's the railway track here, which is quite pretty much like a 2D line of nothingness. Uh, probably some sort of embankment. And there's the river, and there's the grass. Yeah. What do you think, guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? What do you think? That will be a new animation project of what I'll be coming up for around May of 2024. Maybe I could probably release this as around as early as possibly Bank Holiday Monday of May, but I'm not sure about that. And I tell you what, 2024 is about to be one of the most highly productive years when it comes into animating. Surely it seems like that these days I'm actually mainly conformed into a much more animated format versus the, let's just say, arts and crafts, or any other video idea I can pretty much somehow think of. It's such a great, great, great way to come along and think of some very innovative ideas, and also some very intuitive ones. So it's something, somehow I really want to come up with the idea of creating a thing like that, which is totally and utterly awesome. I feel like that, the way I make animations these days has now basically improved, although maybe what I could do better is probably with the characters themselves. I might probably add some shadow effects, but I'm too lazy. How about that, hearing that I'm lazy? 
But nevertheless, this is a very lavish way and a very great way to get into animating. And of course this, I might probably make a separate video on why I don't make videos on a Thursdays. Probably as a revisited subject. Because I know I've made one before. But I feel like maybe sometime in, you know, in the evening or at night time, I might probably reciprocate back to the same subject over and over and over again. But anyways, in the meantime, what do you think about this animation? Please leave a comment because I love to see how my audience and my fan base is going to be like as the years will pretty much extrapolate and as time will pretty much fly by. Man, half of the time I could probably say, hey, what an amazing job you've done there, Ivan. You've done a splendid job. Anyways, I think I'm going to have to probably get ready for college right now. Please give this video a like. Subscribe for more for flat videos in the future. And yes, I know I don't always make videos on the Thursdays, but thanks so much for watching. And bye for now. Well, here's something I really want to put up as a bit of an extra odd bod type apology message that I really want to make. You know, back in March of 2024, I'm really sorry for how harsh I was actually causely sounding at the moment. Because I was just pretty much combating with my daily housework chores. And at the same time, yeah, I was just doing the animation for the sake that I thought it was just a task that I was being forced to. Now, I feel like what I felt like I was saying here was probably misled. I think I was just misleading and miscommunicating people along the way. So it really just goes to show me how a little bit ashamed can I be, can become a little bit of a legacy. So normally what I'm trying to say words here is, what I'm actually trying to say is, is that whenever I'm trying to, you know, juxtapose words, whenever I'm like blabbering stuff right in front of camera here, is that, you know, the, the part where I got a little bit out of context was definitely the, um, was definitely the part where I just spoke about how I felt like I was just harshly treated, but I wasn't. Okay, so I was just pretty much being, you know, on the lookout. I was just pretty much just kind of it. It's almost like, I don't want to really put up too much words in this, but I was just pretty much, you know, cornered. Okay, so I didn't really want to probably sound like I was forced or something, but I was just probably pretty much like, just feel like I was just making decisions. I think that's what I was up to. But anyways, better bail out to college. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, for the second time, thanks so much for watching and bye for now. Nice to have a video on Thursday, isn't it? Yay!